Hi, this is Dr. Don. I had a student ask a question about how to solve a hypothesis test about a proportion. And this is a example of that type of problem. We're told that a researcher claims that at least 46% of adults in certain country think the government is not aggressive enough. In a random sample of 600 adults in that country, 41% say the government is not aggressive enough. And we want to know, at Alpha of 101, is there enough evidence to reject the center's claim? The center's claim was at least. Remember in the table that I shared before, the at least is a greater than or equal to situation. And since it's a form of equality, that means that this claim has to be the null. And we're looking at that the claim is at least 46%, which is what it says here. And saying it in mathematical form, we've got the population parameter P is greater than or equal to 0.46. And the alternative is P less than 0.46. Because this is a left tail, the operator points to the left we should have a negative value of a critical value of z. And by the way, for the proportion test, we always use the z distribution. And this question wants us to find that critical value and also identify the rejection region, find the standardized test statistic, then come up to a decision and a conclusion. So the way that I would recommend people do this is to use the uh, calculator that I posted on my website. Let me show you that now. Okay, I've brought up my website, which is just drdonwright.com. Whenever you go there, it, it may look a little different, obviously, since I'll have different posts probably on the front page. But you can just click on the Business 233 link up there, and it will bring up these Excel calculators that I've been making. And we want the single sample Z test for proportion. And so I'm going to click on that and bring it up. We've got some instructions there. And after a minute or so, this spreadsheet should open up. Now you can do your work directly into this, this window that I have here. Or if you want, you can click down here and expand it into a full size workbook. Uh, but for this problem, we're just going to work it directly in this window. And I would note that down at the bottom, there's a scroll bar. You can scroll over. And you can see because this is a test uh, about a proportion, we're going to use the normal approximation if possible, which allows us to use the Z distribution. And we've got to check that N and P are both greater than 5. And here, once you enter your data, this calculator will automatically check that for you. And if it is OK to proceed, it will be green here, OK to proceed. If it's not OK to proceed, it will turn red. So we need to enter in our population mean, which in this case was 0.46. You only enter data in the blue cells. The uh, yellow and green and, and orange cells are all protected, so you shouldn't be able to change anything. The sample standard deviation is being calculated for you but you've got to enter the sample proportion, which in this problem was 0.41. Again, remember, although it said 41%, you have to use decimals in these calculators and in StatCrunch as well. The significant level was alpha. Sample size was 600. The next thing we need to do is select the claim math operator. Remember that in this case, it said that the, the tax center says at least 46%, so that's the greater than or equal. To change that, you just click on it and then select the right operator. And we select the greater than or equal. And that tells us automatically that the claim is the null. We know that uh, restating it in math uh, formalization, we've got that P is greater than 0 0.46. The alternative is P less than 0 0.046. The calculator gives you that. It tells you it's the left tail test which again, because it's pointing to the left, it is left tail. That means our critical value of Z is going to be negative, always for a left tail test. Z just depends upon the tail of the test and the alpha. And so we know that it's minus 2.33 if we round it to decimal places. Rejection region would be any 
test statistic that is less than to the left of minus 2.326. The test statistic, which is used found using our standard formula, is minus 2.4574, which is to the left of minus 2.326. And down here it tells you, is Z in a rejection region? Yes. Alpha is calculated, I'm sorry, P is calculated for you and is less than our alpha, which it tells you that as well. So down at the bottom, we get our decision. Reject the null and the conclusion at the 1% significance level, there is enough evidence to reject the claim, which was the null. And again, we found that out up here. And I'm also telling you that at the bottom, we reject the null because Z is in the rejection region. We reject the null because P is less than alpha. So I hope this helps.